This is my most requested topic and the number one question that you all ask me. We are talking all about eye creams in this video. Do you need an eye cream? And if so, what eye cream do I recommend as a dermatologist and a skincare expert? I'm about to go off on this topic because I feel pretty strongly about eye creams as a dermatologist who is obsessed with quality skincare products that actually work and are affordable. So before you go out and buy an eye cream, watch this video. You are about to learn two extremely important things. One, I tell you my top four reasons why you should skip the eye cream and what you should be spending your money on instead. And two, if you decide that you still want an eye cream, I will also teach you how to navigate the process of buying an eye cream at the end of this video. So you will be able to quickly pick out a great and affordable eye cream for your unique needs. I will have all of the products I mentioned linked below in the description and all of these are in my Amazon storefront as well, along with my other recommended products for you to build your complete and affordable skincare routine. So let's get started. But first, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos where I simplify the entire skincare process to help you get premium skin without the price tag. And follow me on Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist for more great tips and daily advice from me. eye creams. Here is the deal. The skin around our eyes is very thin. So naturally it shows the first signs of aging, such as fine lines, crepey paper-like texture of the skin and dark circles. Or you may just notice an overall tired look to your eyes. When someone asks me about what eye cream they should use, I typically will give them my anti-aging spiel, which you can hear in full in my drugstore anti-aging skincare video. As a spoiler for that video, I don't actually include an eye cream in my anti-aging routine. And here are the four reasons why I do not recommend eye creams that often. Number one, adding an eye cream to a skincare routine unnecessarily complicates the routine. It's one more product that you have to buy and one more step you have to do, and we are all too busy for that. I prefer to simplify the skincare routine with only a few high quality products that give results that you can afford to buy over and over again. The second reason I do not like eye creams is because these are the worst of all skincare products for gimmicks and marketing ploys to make you spend more money. They use a lot of aggressive claims that don't have any solid support to back them up and other marketing strategies to really justify a high priced skincare product that you feel like you need in your routine. And this is truly not the case. Number three, these eye creams are typically very expensive in many skincare lines, the eye cream is actually one of their most expensive items for the quantity that you actually get. The reason that they can sell these for so much more money is back to number two, because of the marketing. Many eye creams have ingredients added in that do not have any quality science behind them. And we have no idea how much of those ingredients are actually in the product anyways, because they aren't required to tell us. So this is largely a scam to upsell the item to you, which takes me to my fourth point about why I don't like eye creams. And that's because they distract you from the main problem. They steal your focus and your money and cause you to fixate on your eye area to try to undo the damage. What you should be doing is focusing on better skin health practices overall that will pay off with better looking skin under the eye as well as all of your skin. Now, with all of that said, do I really think eye creams are that bad or harmful to the skin? No, of course not. I just think that you can save your money and still achieve these goals without a separate dedicated product just for the eye area. But even though all those things are true, and you may know those, you may still want to experiment with an eye cream in your skincare routine. So this part of the video is for you. This is how you will go to the drugstore or shop online and navigate the process of buying your eye cream. First, you need to understand that eye creams are designed to treat four main problems. So I consider eye creams to exist in one of four separate categories. You know I love my lists, so here we go. Here are the four main categories of eye creams. Number one, 
general hydration of the skin around the eyes. So just a good, plain, moisturizing eye cream. Category two, eye creams that will fix dark circles and puffiness. Three, eye creams that provide anti-aging benefits to fix fine lines and crow's feet. And fourth, eye creams that are for protection of the skin around the eyes. So basically a sunscreen dedicated for the eye area. Here is how to navigate buying an eye cream from each of these categories and an alternative option for you if you don't want to buy an eye cream yet still address these issues. This is the fun part. Category one, hydration for skin barrier health and moisturizing. You will be looking for a product with niacinamide, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and maybe a thicker texture in general. Here are my top drugstore picks for hydrating eye creams. Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. I like this one because it also has licorice root extract in it for decreasing dark circles and making that under eye more radiant. Neutrogena Hydro Boost for Eyes. This is a simple hyaluronic acid moisturizer. I love the Hydro Boost Face Cream, so this is obviously similar to that. CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. It has a cocktail of the great ingredients in it like niacinamide, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and plant extracts like you will actually see in some of the more expensive skincare brands. And Olay Collagen Peptide 24. Go for this option if you are more into peptides and plant extracts and eye creams. It also has niacinamide and a great moisturizing texture so for that reason, I consider this a good option. These all provide great hydration for that under eye skin. They are fragrance free and likely will be well tolerated by many different skin types. But honestly, if you want general and effective hydration for around the eyes, but you don't want to spend on an extra eye cream, just use your face moisturizer. Face moisturizers should be safe for around the eye use as well and they should have all the great ingredients in them that eye creams do. Here is my top recommendation for a fabulous product and an example of what I mean when I say that you can get one amazing cream and use it for the face and the eyes rather than spending on two separate products. The CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. This is a great option that works beautifully under the eyes. The consistency of this product is so great because it is a bit thicker, which is what people generally look for in eye creams. It's almost like a balm. So it gives intense hydration. It has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, ceramides, peptides, and it's fragrance free. So it's a very low chance of causing irritation on the skin. This is another staple in my routine, especially in the winter time or drier climates. Next category two for an eye cream to combat dark circles and puffiness. You should be looking for one with ingredients such as caffeine and optical diffusers like titanium dioxide. These will help decrease the look of dark circles by either constricting down those blood vessels or reflecting the light off the skin. Of course, this will be temporary improvement. It's not going to actually result in any lasting change. Here are my top affordable picks for eye creams to help dark circles. La Roche-Posay Pigment Clar Eye Cream for Dark Circles. What makes this one stand out as unique is that it is tinted from iron oxides, which further helps camouflage those dark circles and it has antioxidants like ferulic acid. Another unique thing about this eye cream is that it has a metal applicator, which creates a cooling sensation when applied to the skin around the eyes because of that metal. So that just feels nice and soothing. Aveeno Absolutely Ageless Eye Cream. I like this one because it has a similar ingredient list of plant extracts, optical diffusers, and antioxidants as the more expensive SkinCeuticals AGE Eye Complex Cream, which is right around $100. This is a much more affordable option that feels just as luxurious, but without the fragrance and parabens that the SkinCeutical product has. And my third pick is the Vichy Dark Circle Eye Cream. This is a French skincare brand that is available in the drugstore. I recommend this not only because I have confidence in the Vichy brand, but also because it's a well-rounded product that also has licorice root extract in it, which is another great ingredient that can help fight against dark circles. So those are all good for dark circles, but if you want to address this without buying one of these additional products, I recommend a tinted mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide and iron oxides, which will have the same effect of covering up that area 
while also providing UV protection. I love tinted mineral sunscreens and I'm linking my favorites below. The most affordable one I use the absolute most on a daily basis is by Australian Gold. It's the Botanical Tinted Mineral SPF Sunscreen with titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and iron oxides. It is so cheap and it looks great on the skin. The third category, eye creams for anti-aging benefits. Most eye creams will have some claim on the packaging that it is anti-aging, whether it's from plant extracts or antioxidants or retinoids or vitamin C. The ones that I think would potentially be the most useful are those that contain a form of retinoid such as retinol or retinaldehyde. Now, retinoids can be problematic around the eyes if you get it in the eyes. It can be toxic to the glands and goblet cells, which make the oil and mucin, which helps moisturize the eyes and prevent dry eyes. So you have to be very careful about applying retinoid products to this area. And because of that, many brands will make a retinol for the face and a separate retinol cream for the eye area and that is because the eye cream will have a far lower concentration of retinol in it to really decrease the risk of problems to the eye area. So this is the one time I generally recommend an eye cream. If you are a person with sensitive skin around the eyes or are not tolerating your face retinoid in that area, then you can try a separate retinoid eye cream. But before you do, make sure your doctor says this is right for you and check out my video on retinoids to learn more about the types of retinoids and how to pick out a product that is right for your skin and just a lot of other tips on how to incorporate this into your routine. Here are some of my top affordable retinol eye creams. Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. It has a carefully formulated retinol complex as well as hyaluronic acid for hydration of the skin. In my retinoid video, I talk about the face cream version of this, which I really like. Now, some people may tolerate that around the eyes, but others may need this separate eye cream. So depending on where you fall on the level of skin sensitivity will dictate if you need to get a separate product to treat those fine lines and crow's feet. I like the La Roche-Posay Redermic R Eyes. This brand has several eye creams, but if you are going to choose one, this is the one I recommend because it is the only one that contains retinol as well as retinol palmitate, which is another form of retinoid. So this will be the most effective for addressing signs of aging, in my opinion. It also has caffeine for addressing those dark circles and hyaluronic acid for moisturization. So it's really a good all around product for addressing many eye concerns at once. Olay Eyes Retinol 24 Max. So this one has two types of retinoid, retinol and a retinol ester, as well as peptides and niacinamide. Now it notably does not have hyaluronic acid, which I am okay with because although this possibly can increase the amount of moisture in the skin, it also can cause a higher chance of irritation by drawing the retinoid farther into the skin because that's how hyaluronic acid works. And of course, this all depends on the exact formulation of the product, but it is something to consider. Now, if you are using a retinol eye cream and you're getting irritation, switch to one without hyaluronic acid in it, like this one, to see if that makes a difference. So I like this product overall. I get asked a lot about the Rock Retinol Correction Cream. They have one for the face and one specifically for the eyes. I am okay with this product as well. I like that it does have B5 in it, which is soothing to the skin. And that is a great ingredient to have in a retinoid product. It does have fragrance and parabens for those of you that try to avoid those ingredients for personal preference. So all of these I've mentioned so far are retinol containing products. The other one that I highly, highly recommend are eye creams that contain retinaldehyde which is a form of retinoid that has to undergo even less conversions than retinol to get to the active retinoic acid form to exert its anti-aging effects. I explained this far better in my retinoid video. So again, check that out. So I think that retinaldehyde products are very effective as far as over-the-counter products go. My personal favorite one is by Avene. It's their Retronal Eyes. Unfortunately, retinaldehyde creams are less common to find in the drugstore and even online and in other brands. Now, this one is a bit more costly than I will generally spend on a single skincare product, but I do really love it for two reasons. One being it has the retinaldehyde form of retinoid in it, 
and two, it has a thick texture so it really stays put and does a great job of hydrating that skin. And lastly, this is important, retinoid eye creams that I do not recommend are those that only contain a pro-retinol or a retinol ester form of retinoid in them. For example, the L'Oreal Revitalift Anti-Wrinkle Cream has only pro-retinol in it. I think the research shows that this form is likely too weak to exert real and noticeable change on the skin. So when shopping for an anti-aging eye cream, look on the ingredients label specifically for retinol or retinaldehyde. Okay, we are coming to the finish line. The last category of eye creams are those with SPF to protect you from sun damage. Newsflash, regular sunscreens are safe for the eyelids and eye area. So I beg you, please do not get two sunscreens. Just stick with one that works well for you and apply it to your entire face. So that's it. My quick hit summary for you is if you are going to get an eye cream, choose one with a retinol or a retinaldehyde and forget all the others for a truly minimalistic yet effective skincare routine. Just use your moisturizer and a mineral sunscreen and you will be all set for the eye area. Everything I mentioned is linked below. Please share this video with your friends. And give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful so that we can help even more people navigate the skincare industry without wasting their time and money. And I wanna know, what eye creams are you guys using that you liked or didn't like? Comment below and let's all learn from each other. Thanks so much for following along. I have really enjoyed interacting with so many of you in the comments and in my messages on my Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist. Remember to subscribe to simplify your skincare routine with me. See you guys soon.